he's probably someone who has done some of the most beautiful filming of food that I can think of. But, I mean, he, he had a hard time raising money for that film. You know, like a garlic, you know, a film about garlic. What do you, you know, what's that gonna be about? It took him three years of filming Alice's garlic dinners at the restaurant before it started to really feel like there was gonna be a film. For Les, Alice Waters represented a lot of things that he really loved. He liked the love and obsession that she put into what she was doing. It was all about food, and he loved to eat. There's nothing that Les loved more than to eat. Les also liked the feast, like the harvest feast, the celebration. He loved big dinners, and Alice Waters was all about that, making this very festive celebratory feast with garlic and good wine. You know, I don't want to have just uh, pesto. I mean, I want garlic. I mean, you know, garlic. It is a real part of the life of the restaurant. I have two kind of markers in my year. One is the 14th of July at the Garlic Festival, and the other is New Year's Eve. And uh, I don't think we'll ever stop doing either one of them because they say so much about a moment in time. Uh, I always think of it being connected to Bastille Day as something really radical. And, and I feel like we have permission to do whatever we want to do. You know, we don't, we're not uh, bound by what is appropriate for the, the people who eat in the dining room downstairs or upstairs. I, I think the people who come expect an outrageous garlic experience. They, they want to really taste it and feel it and, and be able to tell their friends about what they ate. And they want to stay until midnight and dance.